Hi guys, so today I will be talking about if I like LA Fitness better or if I like 24 Hour Fitness. Just a little background, I have been with 24 Hour Fitness for seven years now. I got my membership when I was a junior in high school, so I've had the membership there for a really long time. So because of COVID, obviously all the gyms were closed down, so um, 24 Hour Fitness here in my area was shut down for almost three months I believe now because it closed down in March and it just opened um, June 29th so I noticed when the gym started opening our gym wasn't open yet so I was looking around to see what gyms were open and there is two LA fitnesses in my area and both of them were open so I was like you know what what if I go check out LA fitness and see if we like it better and if it's more affordable and we'll go from there we went and we checked out LA Fitness and if some of you guys have heard by now, um, 24 Hours did file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. So from then I was like, okay, like I don't know what's gonna happen, although they're gonna keep like a lot of the locations open. They did close down like over 100 locations from what I read. Um, but because of that, I wanted to go check out and see if I could switch over. So let me jump right in on what gym I like better and why. So I've been with LA Fitness for almost three weeks now. Um, and honestly, I do like LA Fitness a lot better for many reasons. Um, so when I called, I had actually gotten the guest pass online. So I called before to see if I needed to make the reservation. They said no, we're actually not doing guest passes, but we can. You can come in. We can give you a tour of the club. I was like, okay, we'll do that. So I went and I did the tour, and which I really like because it's a lot bigger than like the 24 hours that I go to. So that's one thing. It's big, and they even mentioned it how a lot of the equip equipments there's like more than one of it, so you don't have to like wait on someone else to be done with that workout you can just go look for the other one another thing is the equipments are a lot newer um if you go to 24 hours you notice that a lot of the machines aren't as new um which i gotta admit i looked a little like i didn't know what i was doing when i started out even this because like a lot of the machines were not what i was used to at 24 so it is like a lot of them are very different when i got the tour they also mentioned how you get a uh, free fitness assessment which i believe they also do that at 24 hours it's like a complimentary like um one-on-one -on -one, i guess with a personal trainer um so we went ahead we're like you know let's do it it was me and my mom so we're like let's see because we like I wanted more of a personal trainer for her so um I wanted to see like what their options are and all of that so we actually did end up getting a personal training um which we are doing now and they've been really good like it's different a lot of the exercises though it's like I've done them and I know of them so it's like it just the personal trainer pushing me is what I like because sometimes I can't push myself so He's really pushing us to our limits, which I really like. So. I'm going to do a before and after once it's over, or maybe like in the six month mark. But that is hoping that they don't shut the gyms back down because that's also a possibility because of the whole pandemic and everything going on. So the only thing I don't really like is the app. Um, I mean, it's pretty cool because you check in with your app now. It's like it has a membership barcode. But I feel like the 24 hour fitness app was a little more advanced. Like it shows you like the days you went in um, and a lot of other information, a lot of videos and all of that. So it could be that I haven't explored the LA fitness app as much. Maybe that's why I think it's not as good, but that's my opinion so if you guys want to let me know if there is a way just let me know in the comments below another good thing is that i know if you're gonna work out at 24 hours you have to make a reservation and from what i've been seeing it's only an hour max um the good thing about la fitness is you don't have to make a reservation and that's the whole point of them not giving out guest passes because they want the members to have more time to go and work out um, the only requirements are that you do need to wear a mask at all times now. I know in the beginning it was just when you're walking in and walking around, not while you're working out, but now because of the state rules and regulations, whatever, you have to wear it the whole time. And I've just been reading that you might also start needing 
to wear gloves <laughs> so we'll see where that so the only thing i can't really discuss is the pricing because it could vary like i guess it just really depends um i know at like LA fitness they have like different type of memberships so it just you have a lot of different options um but yeah let me know if this was helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe if you don't already and before i close out the video is here is what it looks like now i gained a lot of weight over here from what i noticed because of the whole quarantine but in a couple months i will do a before and after and show you guys about my progress